nor bring upon thee until thou be destroyed. It said the Lord going to bring all kind of plagues and sicknesses upon you until you are destroyed. Yes. And just that's why y'all wonder why everybody, I got diabetes. Everybody got goddamn diabetes. Yeah, hey, that's a curse from the Most High. You got diabetes. You got to get your toes chopped off. You hear about that all the time. People got diabetes. They got to go get, get a couple toes amputated or, uh... They have blown the trumpet, even to make all ready. But none goeth to the battle, for my wrath is upon all the multitude thereof. The sword is without, and the pestilence and the famine within. He that is in the field shall die with the sword. And he that is in the city, famine and pestilence shall devour him. I get it. There's going to be riots out here. There's going to be all kind of riots. Soon, soon, all these buildings you see right now, soon they're going to be on fire. <laughs> Soon ain't gonna be no university. So it's gonna be giant rice, they're gonna burn it down. This is what it is. Shit's about to pop out. <laughs> you see them big ass teeth? Yeah. Hey, it's looking nice. coming off the top, man. Like, Looks like. But they that escape them shall escape. It shall be on the mountains like doves of the valley, all of them mountains, every one for his iniquity. All hands shall be feeble, and all knees shall be weak as water. Yeah, so all you proud ass women and all you proud ass men, you ain't gonna be so proud on that day. You're gonna be feeble. You're gonna be looking like a little bitch. Women gonna be crying, begging for mercy, praying for someone to help them. Hey, the men gonna be doing the same thing. You gonna have men, you gonna have men clawing at your door, scratching at your door, begging you to help. Them, you know what I mean? Okay. Could you help me, kind sir? Like hell no. Nigga, I ain't helping shit. Like, nigga, please. What was you ever? I was struck. They shall also gird themselves with sackcloth. And horror shall cover them. Yes, there's going to be a lot of sadness. And shame shall be upon all faces and baldness upon all their heads. Yes, yeah, it's back in that. Yeah, in the ancient world, they do that when they get sad. A lot of destruction is coming. You know, they put the sackcloth on, throw some ashes on themselves. Just feel pitiful. <laughs> It's so, it's, it's a scripture on that that said they're going to be pitiful. Do you remember that scripture? I'm going to see if I can find out. They're going to be pitiful. Pitiful. Is that true? I can't remember. I got the old concordance on my brother. Israel. They're going to be looking pitiful. Y'all want to say there ain't no God, most high don't exist, Bible's a joke. Y'all going to be looking real pitiful, man. Pitiful. <laughs> I forgot about that one, man. Yeah, there's all kind of cuss words in the Bible. Technically, like... So you're allowed to use cuss words, though. There's all these fake Christians. Let's say you're not allowed to curse. You can't say cuss words. You can say all kind of cuss words. Ain't nothing wrong with that. There's going to be blasphemy in the Most High. Saying the Most High don't exist and nothing crazy, you know? You can say fucking shit and damn and piss and shit. All that shit. Oh, uh, what are I was looking for pitiful. Oh, like, you don't sound like a man. This is fucking pissed. That ain't right, is it? What is that thing? J A S. What the fuck is that? Is that me pushing me? J A S? What the fuck is the Jane? The book of Jesse. I already got it. I'll go ahead and read something. You got something. First Peter. Ecclesiastes 39, 40 and 1. Great travail is created for every man, and a heavy yoke is upon the sons of Adam. From the day that they go out, 
from their mother's womb to the day that they return to the mother of all things. Their imaginations of things to come and the day of death trouble their thoughts. They cause fear of heart from him that sitteth on a throne of glory unto him that is humbled in earth and ashes, from him that weareth purple in a crown, unto him that is clothed with a linen flock, wrath and envy, trouble and inquisition, unquietness, fear of death and anger and strife, Woo! and in the time of rest upon his bed, his night's sleep, do change his knowledge. A little or nothing in his rest, and afterward he is in his sleep, as in a day of keeping watch, trouble in the vision of his heart, as if he were escaped out of the battle. When all is safe, he awakens, and marvels, marvels that the fear was nothing. Such things happen unto all flesh, both man and beast, and that is sevenfold more upon sinners. Oh. Death and bloodshed. Death and bloodshed. Strife and sword. The sword. What's the sword? That's an instrument of death. So the Lord said, the Bible said that the Lord is bringing bloodshed. And he's bringing the sword. And death. That, and that sword is those missiles. Death and, and bloodshed. That's some kind of military police, too. That's right. Because soon a lot of people, they're going to be getting thrown in concentration camps. So that, that's part of that sword. Hmm. Yeah, right now, the, uh, the police should beat your ass right now. Right. <laughs> you can't do anything about it. The cops can come and beat your ass right now, and you can't do nothing about it. You can just cry. Death and bloodshed, strife and the sword, calamity, famine, tribulation, and the scourge. These things are created for the wicked. He said the scourge. He said it's that whooping, you can get your ass whooped. And for their sakes came the blood. All things that are of the earth shall turn to the earth again. And that which is of the water doth return into the sea. Yeah. Oh, God, I've been looking for this scripture. I can't. I'm going to I can't find it. Okay. Oh, you got something else? I'll find it. I can't remember. Well, you know, it might have been in here. The scripture talking about how pitiful. Pitiful, pitiful. How pitiful these two were. Pitiful. 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 Pitiful.
Oh, man, he might have just oh, oh, it wasn't a pocket. God, man, I'm sorry. Man, whoever's watching this video, man, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah. I can't remember scripture, and that's why most like it was this technology to help us out. Hey, some videos are better than others, that's all I can say. Gave them time to go refill their drink or whatever. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Where you go right here? We about to, we about to go up last scripture. And every one that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his work and by faith whereby he have believed shall be preserved from the same peril and shall be and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders. For I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. Oh, see the, so the Lord says he sanctified us from the beginning. So you was already, if you're his chosen, if you're part of the elect, you was already chosen before the earth was even born. You know what I mean? So people are like, how do you say God can look, choose a certain people over another people? Mm -hmm. Well, he just said we was chosen before the earth was even born. All right, keep going. Then shall they be in pitiful case. I mean, that's a real, I'm not that's, that's something real important that you need to know. You know what I'm saying? That's like one of the most important things is to know that everything's predestined. To know that the elect was already chosen. That's you know right. what I'm saying? That's right. That's something real important. Keep going. A lot of you've been chosen for destruction. Yeah, a lot of people created just to be destroyed. Just, to be burnt the just how up. you know when you was a little kid, you like take some toys, you might make something just to blow it up. You know, so the Lord do the same thing. Second half is 99. Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways. So they abuse the ways of the Lord. How do they do that? By abusing themselves, now following the commandments, being a faggot. And they, a woman being an adulterer. Okay, that adultery is like the top sin out here, man. So these people just have sex and sleep around with all kind of different people. All kind of diseases get spread. Pussy ain't safe no more. No problem. I'm not going to they that have cast him away despitefully shall dwell in torment. For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. Yeah, because people, when, you, uh, when you're a part of this world, you get all kind of benefits. You get a nice job, you have a nice car, you know what I'm saying, you're making all kind of money. But guess what, ultimately you're just going to get destroyed, and all your money's going to get destroyed right along with it. Because the Bible said you got to lay up your treasures in heaven, where moth and rust does not corrupt. And they that have lost my law, while they had yet liberty... When they say mock the law... Is that law, law, law. Oh, they loathe. They they hate. Oh, they loathe the law. I mean, you know, it's like the, the like the Bible is an inconvenience to people. When you start reading Bible scriptures, people they they feel like they get inconvenience. You know what I'm saying? And it's too much for them. It's too much to handle. Right, keep going. And when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not. But despised it. Yeah, right. When we when we cut show people the truth out of the scriptures, and we show them what they're doing is wrong, like when someone's celebrating Christmas, and then we show them the scriptures in the Bible that say Christmas is wrong, and they get they get mad at us for that. You know what I mean? So they say we're the devil because we since we follow the Bible, they say we're the devil. That that's that's the situation that we're in. Excuse the scripture on that too. And the ungodly curses Satan, they curse themselves. They curse their own soul. Right. Yeah, because when you, you can't curse out Satan, you are Satan. Right. So they put curses on their damn self. Yeah. <laughs> they curse themselves. That's funny. That's funny, ain't it? That's funny as hell, man. The boomerang. The same must know it after death by pain. Death, what is that death by pain? Is that fire, man? That's what's coming. Being cooked. The Lord said He's going to bring fire, man. <laughs> man, there's, there's going to be little. There's going to be destruction before the fire, too, though. There's going to be guillotine. They're going to roll out the guillotines and be chopping heads off. They're going to be torturing people. Uh, and therefore, be thou not curious. How the ungodly shall be punished and when. But inquire how 
the righteous shall be saved, who the world is. Yeah, because the world is ours. And that's why we, the main thing we worried about is our brothers, you know. Because it, it is, a, we do talk about people getting destroyed, but the main thing we should focus on is people getting saved and people getting this truth. You know what I mean? People getting these laws, knowing the Lord's name. That's something you're supposed to be concerned with. Because you can't just teach nothing but destruction. You, you got to tell your brothers what the Lord's name is. You know what I mean? No, go ahead. And for whom the world is created. So the world was created for us. It, it just said it right there. The world is ours. Then answer I and said, I have said before, and now do speak. And will speak it after hereafter. That there be many more of them which perish than of them which shall be saved. So the Bible said there was going to be more people that perish than there was that's going to be saved. Like as a wave is greater than a drop. And he answered me saying, like as the field is, so is also the sea. As the flowers be, so are the colors also. Such as the workman is, such also is the work. And as the husband man is himself, so is his husbandry. Also, for it was the time of the world. And now, when yeah. I prepared the world... Okay, yeah, there's a time... Like, this is a time of the devil right now. That's right. Like, it's, this is Satan's kingdom right here. We live in the kingdom of Satan. And now, when I prepared the world, which was not yet made, even for them to dwell in, that now live, no man speak a few feet. For then, everyone obeyed. But now, the manner of them which are created in this world that is made are corrupted by a perpetual seed and by a law which is unsearchable rid themselves. So I considered the world and behold, there was peril because of the devices that were come into it. All the devices. Like, like this the way this society set up, man. This is a fucked up place to live. Oh, oh yeah, bro. It's like going to the devices. It's like when you got to get tags on your car. Hey, that's one of them devices. You gotta pay taxes. You gotta pay child support. You gotta pay all kind of shit. To do anything in this world, you gotta pay some kind of money. You gotta pay rent. You gotta pay bills. There's, there's no end. There's no end. Especially when it comes to your car, man. You gotta be rich to have a car. Fuck, you gotta pay. Not only do you gotta pay some ridiculous price to get the vehicle, then you gotta pay for tags. Then you gotta pay for insurance. Then you gotta pay to get your tags renewed every once a year. And then you gotta pay motherfucking, uh, you gotta pay, uh, how much does gas cost? Like $4 a gallon or something crazy? And the gas is taxed. What the fuck this place, man? They do that because they know you need that car. So that's why I make everything so damn difficult. Mm -hmm. They're a bunch of damn devils. Because you know the world is controlled by faggots? Actual homosexuals and faggots control the planet Earth. The elite of the world, they're a bunch of devil worshippers. They're a bunch of faggots. Like, what's your boy, Rob Child? He's a faggot. Barack Obama's a faggot. George Bush is a faggot. Just case. Yeah, all, yeah, all the world's here, a bunch of homosexuals. So the world is controlled by a bunch of demonic, devil worshipping, goddamn heathens, man. I don't like this place. I don't know what to say no more. Sometimes I just... Baruch 3! Oh uh, Lord Almighty! He can't Baruch. It's over for y'all. The Go power ahead. of Israel! Oh, the Bible said he's the God of Israel. He goes... Uh, the soul in anguish! Oh, because the, the Lord is already dealing with the nation of Israel. He ain't dealing with anyone else. He goes... Uh, the soul in anguish, the troubled spirit, crieth unto thee. Hear, O Lord, and have mercy, for thou art merciful. <laughs> also, the Bible said the Lord is merciful. So, so if you like, you repent and you acknowledge that you're a dumbass, the Lord is going to forgive you. He going and have pity upon us, because we have sinned before thee. So the Lord, He going to have pity on us, you know, Lord from Finland. He going to have pity on us. So we're pitiful, you know what I'm saying? That's right. But thou endures forever, and we perish utterly. Oh Lord, oh, yeah. So the Lord endured forever, but all men die. 
So that's the funny thing though. People always want to laugh. They always want to laugh at the most high say God don't exist. But guess what? You're going to drop dead one day. You bunch of dead. I'll tell you how stupid they are. Oh Lord Almighty, the power of Israel. Hear now the prayers of the dead Israelites and their children which have sinned before thee and not hearken unto the voice of thee their power. For the which cause these plagues cleave unto us. Remember not the iniquities of our forefathers, but think upon thy power and thy name now at this time. Yeah, don't remember the sins of our forefathers. Uh. That's a lot of wicked shit. No. <laughs> So yeah, we, that's what you got to do. You got to pray to the Lord. You know, forgive you of all his sins. You got to pray for your brother. So go ahead. For thou art the Lord our power, and thee, O Lord, will we praise. So we ain't going to praise the Most High. That's it. We ain't praising nobody else. We're going to praise the Most High. That's right. We ain't going to praise the Constitution or the Founding Fathers or none of that crazy, insane shit. That's the how what the how it comes. That's it. That's all we're going to praise. That's it. And for this cause, thou hast put the, thy fear in our hearts to the intent that we should call upon <laughs> thy name. That's that's why we're doing this, because we we're, we fear the Most High. Because yeah. we, we know the Most High's power. That's right. So we know better. And praise thee in all our captivity. And the Bible says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. So if you want to get knowledge and you want to learn something, well, first of all, you got to have the fear of the Lord in you, or you ain't going to learn nothing. For we have called to mind all the iniquities of our forefathers that sinned before thee. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse, and to be subject to payment. They said, they, they said we were scattered, because the Israelites are scattered among all nations. We're scattered all over the place. Now, that's one of the main reasons why we got teachers word because our people are scattered so that's why we got to come out here and teach to make sure our brothers get that truth for a free code and a curse and to be subject to payment according to all the iniquity of our fathers which depart from the lord our power yeah because our, our fathers they, they they weren't doing the work you know what i'm saying they weren't out here praising the lord on the streets teaching they was like, you know, partying, drinking probably. I don't know what they was doing. Probably being wicked as can be. They wasn't doing the work. But now we doing the work. You know what I'm saying? That's right. That's right. So we, we ain't on that old generation shit, man. We, we, this is 2012, man. We getting near the end of this, this, this whole kingdom. We getting real close to that destruction. That destruction's coming real soon. Like, get that Habakkuk. When that Habakkuk says, wait for it, oh, you don't got to get it, you just got to get something else. For a Habakkuk, it says, uh, it was Harry. Yeah. That Habakkuk, the second chapter, yeah. wait for it. We ain't read that in a long time. Is everybody, I can yeah. barely see uh, I can get it. I can barely get it. Wicked ass hoes. Wicked ass hoes. Oh, you like Snoop Dogg said, everywhere I go, I see the same hoes. Who oh, you about to get Habakkuk? Habakkuk's hard to find, isn't it? <laughs> I cut it. Oh, you got it? I can't see it. I got to see it. My pages ain't turning right, man. What the hell when them pages be sticking? Wind be blowing? I got it. Uh, which one is it? Alright, I got it. I'll read it. <coughs> Habakkuk 2 and 1. <laughs> yeah. Man. And people just look at us like we're crazy, man. That's, that's the best part, man. Habakkuk 2 and 1. 
I will stand upon my watch. So we stand upon our watch right now doing the work. Y'all ain't doing the work. I said, well, I will stand upon my watch. And y'all supposed to be watching. Y'all supposed to be warning the people. Okay, because there's a lot of evil and a lot of destruction coming soon. You got to warn the people. Like, we got to warn the people about this microchip that's coming. The RFID microchip, the mark of the beast. We got to warn people about that. That's why the scriptures say you got to stay on your watch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just like we always keep talking about the genetically modified food. And look, he's got the, the Chiro on his bug. Get that. You see that? He got... That's the symbol that Constantine came up with. Yeah. That's that Chiro. It's it's the first two letter of uh, Christ, the word Christ in Greek. It's a, like an X and a P looking thing. Well, it's an R actually. Because in Greek, P's, I mean, excuse me, in Greek, R's look like P's. Alright, let's get this. I'll go ahead. I will stand upon my watch and stand upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am removed. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain on the table that he may run that readeth it. Alright, so he about to read this vision. It's real plain. Real simple. Go ahead. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. And what's that vision? That vision is talking about that fire. And that's what's coming is that fire, those missiles. Keep going. But at the end it shall speak and not lie. And so we in the end right now and the Lord, he about to speak and he ain't going to lie. Though it tarry, wait for it. So y'all want to say, oh, the Lord ain't came back. He ain't never coming back. Well, wait for it. It's going to come. Keep going. Because it will surely come. So that destruction is surely going to come. The Lord is surely going to come out of the clouds with his angels, with him chariots, and with that destruction. It will not tarry. It ain't going to tarry, and we're going to get delivered too. Behold, his soul, which is lifted up, is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. Yeah, so the Bible says the just shall live by faith. And that's how we get saved. You get saved by your faith too. The Lord, the Lord's going to save you based upon your heart and how you really feel deep down inside. Yea, also, because he transgressed by wine, he is a proud man. Oh yeah, so, uh, yeah, America's a proud man. These people in America are proud people. These women are some proud ass hoes. <laughs> neither keep it at home. Oh yeah, y'all never you know these hoes don't ever keep a home. They at everybody else's house all the time. But yeah, the country too. America look at America invading all these countries, blowing everything up. Hey, never staying at home. Also oh, a big joke, huh? Just like to laugh it up. Laugh and smile, bitch. It's real funny. Who enlarges this desire as hell? Yeah, they had the one last hell, like, like they try to hold it in, you know? Like, <laughs> so like, like so like a bunch of goddamn hot Yeah, but if you're going to make fun of us, you like talk, stop and talk shit, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You don't walk by giggling like a little faggot, man. Right? That's what the scriptures talk about, that feeble man. What is that, the police? The oh, okay. And if, 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 if death, they cannot be satisfied, but gathers unto him all nations, and keepeth unto him all people. Yeah, because this nation's never satisfied, man. They gotta be meddling with every last single country's affairs on the planet Earth. That's why America's about to attack Iran. We about to go to war with Iran. But y'all too busy watching football, so you didn't even know it. World War Three. Yeah, it's about to be World War Three, but y'all watching football, and watching TV, or fucking porn. Or what? Yeah, watching porno. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's all people want to talk about some goddamn football, man. Like I don't give a fuck about your stats, son. I don't want to hear about stats. 
know, if not all dudes take up a parable against him and a taunty proverb. So we're gonna bring take we're gonna bring up a taunting pro we're gonna taunt you fools, man. We're gonna heckle you. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna be a nuisance unto you. That's why we come out here and talk shit to people. We, we the yeah, the Vexers, we fuck with people, talk shit to them, mess with people, crack jokes. It's like sometimes, it's like we like comedians out here, clowning on fools. Like, man, this, these people need to get clowned on, man. That's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. And sometimes you gotta clown on someone to, to wake them up, you know? Yeah, then we gotta to, uh, humble them. People may uh, humble you. Uh, go ahead. What's up, man? Humble anyway. Oh, yeah, hell no. And a taunting proverb against him and say, Woe to him that is increased that which is not his. Woe unto him that increases which is not his. How long? And to him that laideth himself with thick clay. That's the debt they go to that debt, they can't, they can't sustain that debt. Yeah, I heard, uh, I was what was that we was listening to, uh, what was I was listening to, uh, military uh, buzzing Glenn Beck. He can't sustain himself from all that. What was that Glenn Beck we was listening to today? Earlier so, so, this morning. Oh, yeah, what, well, yeah. Well, somebody called in disagreeing. No, we, I was listening to Mark Levin last night. Oh, excellent. But yeah, but somebody called in the show. Black music and shit. Oh yeah, some black dude called in the show. And Mark Levin just started cursing him out. For real? He's like, "We're three hundred dollars in debt, and you worth." <laughs> That's all. He, he cussed him off a guy. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, "We're three hundred dollars in debt, and you're just worried about your phone, <laughs> about your food stamps." <laughs> right. They shall not rise up suddenly. That shall bite thee. Oh yeah, that's true though. Half the nation's on food stamps. I mean, that's a fact. All right. I mean, how do you, where, where's all that money coming from? How are you paying for all that? They're not paying for it. That's why I say you're not. Like, everybody, everybody's happy because Obama gave them phones. But wait, what, where the hell did that money come from to pay for all that shit, man? Mm -hmm. They're just going deeper in debt. The whole purpose is to serve the purpose to put people in debt. That's good, though, man. That's right. That's good. No, you know? Start getting them up on this computer, Obama. Back yeah. in the 90s, people couldn't even afford cell yeah. phones. Yeah. We need to go even deeper in debt. Yeah. Yeah, we need more shit. We need more shit. We need shit. We, we got to get big shit. screens for everyone. No, I don't need no TV. We don't even watch TV. No, Obama will do that, though, if we yeah. say we need it. I want no TV. I want a computer, Obama. Let me get some more free shit, please. I, I want a computer. And a new guitar, Obama. Well, here, touch the phone. What you call them tablets? Oh, shit.